In this video, we'll make this wrap for the Lamely doll from start to finish. The cool thing about a project like this is that it makes a usable garment for a doll and also gives you a good swatch. I didn't want to waste any of my nice knit crate yarn, and it is very nice yarn. One of the other great things about doing what I did here is I get to give it a real workout. Does it flow through the tensioner well, and does the machine knit it well without static or fuss or hanging up? And the answer is yes, no problem at all. It did as well as coned yarn does. I had it neatly wound on balls, but my balls aren't perfect, and they fed beautifully anyway. And now I also have a really good-sized swatch. I won't measure it on the doll, of course. I estimated what size I thought would work, held the doll up to check it out, and that's where I got the 130 rows. But now I can take a very exact swatch measurement with the wrap off of the doll and relaxed, so that I can use the remainder of the yarn for other projects. Here's my March Knit Crate, and boy is this stuff nice. This is fingering weight yarn, otherwise known as number one, Crocodile. That's pretty cute. And you can see it's wool, nylon, and silk, and it is very, very soft. I haven't yet knitted with it yet, obviously, but the nylon should also give it some considerable strength and abrasion resistance. So I have a very cool idea. Of course, it comes with its own patterns, but I am going to create a new one. Stay with me. I'm about to wind it into balls, and we'll go. Here we go, all wound up and ready to swatch. And just in case you were wondering, the skeins came out exactly the amount of weight that they were expected to. We are using simple little card number one. Let me put my hand behind it so you can see it better. One punch hole, one blank spot, one punch hole. Next row is the same, but those that were punched on the previous row are blank on this row and vice versa. This is card number one in most basic sets. If yours wears out, you can punch one. And you can do all sorts of things with it, and we're going to use it today. This is what we're actually going to do today. Here are some things I've been playing around with. But this vertical stripe is what we're going to use. And we're going to use it with two carriages to save lots of time. One on the far right and all the way over here, one on the far, far left. When I move out of your vision, that's where I'll be taking these carriages. Both of them are set on KC, so they will learn to pattern, and on tuck. Now, this is where I've been experimenting. It's only 24 needles, and that is fine for today's project. If I had any more needles in work, I would need to put my lace extensions on the machine for these carriages to rest on when the other carriage was doing the work. But I don't. Now I'm going to go off camera and knit a few rows of waste yarn to start with. See you in a minute. What I'm about to do is actually the swatch with my knit crate yarn but I didn't want to waste it deciding on my stitch, thus the other yarn beneath. I've changed to stitch size 8 on both carriages because the, this yarn is thicker than the yarn that I was just playing around with. Actually, I would use this at 7 or 6, depending on what project I was using normally. Certainly for socks, I would tighten it up, and for some sweaters, but I want this to be a little bit loose and open, so we're going to work with eight. Here's a little trick I do sometimes. I've knitted a stitch through of the main yarn because I may have to work with one hand while I film for you. Two plain rows to start off. The first one can be in. But on the second one, we need to move to KC to set up the bed so that it will knit in pattern. And here we go across in KC. And the needle is selected. The carriage at the left is already set to tuck, but we're going to now set this one to tuck and knit two rows. And they are doing the normal thing that Tuck does. 
Let's see if we can focus in. Alternate needles are knitting and alternate needles are forming loops but not knitting. So each of those needles now has a stitch plus a yarn loop on it. And now the fun begins. I'm going to use the other carriage with the other color. To do that, I moved my right hand carriage far, far to the right, and I'll do that every time, but I won't necessarily tell you so every time. This needle will go out of work as soon as we've been across the bed twice. It's just serving as a spare hand for me. Normally I'd be holding the yarn tail down here, but I'm talking to you, so that won't work. Therefore, I put that button there in H so it'll hold, and it's just fingers. Knit, knit. We got the same thing as before, but on alternate needles. Now I'm going to just knit and knit and knit, alternating both carriages. Right carriage for two rows, left carriage for two rows. And of course, because each has a different color of yarn in it, I will be alternating colors as well. We'll be back to you in a few minutes and show you what's happening. Here we are at 120 rows. I think I've got the length that I need to do what I want to do, which I'll show you in a second. Here is the knit side, and we're looking at the purl side. So actually, this fabric is reversible. It looks very good on both sides. Now I'm going to knit two plain stockinette rows with the purple, because I started with two plain stockinette rows of the burgundy. So we've canceled KC, canceled tuck, and we'll just knit. At this point, I'm going to bring these stitches up. It's very easy to see the first row of main yarn stitches and hang them on the working needles. Here's how we pick them up and hang them. I'm going to do most of this off camera because I cannot get the camera in a position that you can see and I can see both. And this time I win. I've got to see. Here's the next step. Everything is hung. I left a yarn tail about 20 inches long, threaded it into that yarn needle, and now I'm picking up the stitches. There are two sets on every needle, picking up both sets and removing it from the machine. The yarn tails through all the stitches, but it's not finished in any way, and now I'm just removing the waste yarn. That gathering thread is still in all the stitches, so I just drew it tight, still in the needle too, and now I'm going to wrap it around several times, making a gathered area. And here are the results. A pretty little wrap for your lamely doll. Now let's review how we actually did this so that you have a pattern. Begin in waist yarn, casting on and knitting a few rows on 24 needles in your waist yarn. Knit two plain rows with one of the colors. Um, use the second of those rows to set up for pattern knitting by turning to KC. Knit 130 rows in two color tuck, as we showed on the video. Knit two plain rows in the second color. Hang the first main yarn row, gather off the doubled stitches, remove the waist yarn, and wrap the center. And that's all it takes. <laughs>